it's well, he he, yeah. he he just can't stop. Like it's I, it's hits the treadmill. Yeah. Like you're on literally. It's like you're on a treadmill. You have to run, 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 and it's just you're not really. Because where do you go from there? Like once you achieve what BJ Penn has achieved, like where do you go from there? And uh, I think that guys still get a kick out of just being in the cage and just you know. It's you've been doing it for so long, and I know so many of my friends they can't retire for the same reason. Yeah, you know, like their heart is not even that they barely train, but they still enjoy you know doing uh, just being on the spotlight and just stepping in the cage and fighting. And plus, it's good money. Even when a guy a guy with his name, like win or lose, is making good money. So. Yeah. So, and I think there's something to be said about learning how to change your your ambition and adapt because like, yeah. as a fighter. You really have like maybe 15, 20 years, depending on when you start. Yeah. Before you, you're going to the point where you're going to start hurting yourself and overexpending Agreed. yourself, you know? And uh, I think that's a lot of, also, of, like, you see a lot of people doing uh, performance enhancing drugs and all that because that's going to extend the shelf life beyond yeah. natural limits. Yeah. You know what I mean? But they have to be able to direct that energy and move it into something else like a lot of people obviously go the coaching angle or open up a school yeah. you know they're doing martial arts and, and drive their ambition into something else because otherwise you're just going to run yourself into the ground you know doing this and fall apart and it, it's it's a tough spot like i know we, we've had this discussion in private before and like i've retired about two three years ago and it's exactly how i feel like you have to reinvent yourself like you have to do like what am i going to do now i'm just going to be a coach and i love coaching i love teaching and i love teaching seminars um, I love the art, you know, of jujitsu. I love teaching MMA. It's not the same thing as when it's about you. I mean, it's a different kind of satisfaction. Like I get a satisfaction out of watching my my students win, but it, it's not the same thing. It's a different kind of feel, and uh, yeah, it's it's not an easy transition for a lot of people to make. I know I struggle with it, and. Uh,